Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey. Today you join me here for Cars in the Canyon. Now yes, car shows are officially back, which is exciting. Uh, last time I filmed the car show was Rod Emery's open house back in March. So pretty exciting to have car shows back. And I thought, I'd show you around because there's some really cool cars here. So just starting off in the dumped car section, as they call this, this is the general parking lot. Check this out. So it's a, I'm not going to pronounce this in Nisu Ensu Prins 1000. Well, it's one of these small, I believe it's Japanese, rear engine, but take a look at this thing. It's extremely small. I can't really tell that on camera, but look at this rear engine. And look at that four exhaust pipes. It's got the three big tail lights. Look at this thing. It's just really cool. Love the color. Kind of reminds me of like a golf blue. But check out this interior. I have a two-tone of the light tan and then the dark with the black. I just love this thing. It is so cool. Plus, it actually has a sunroof as well. This thing's awesome. Now this show seems to be pretty much dominated by German cars. There's a bunch of Porsches, a bunch of BMWs, and a bunch of Mercedes. But for BMWs, I thought we had to start with the 3.0 CS. Now normally BMWs like this one here, you see them in the blues, the grays, maybe even yellows, whites. But I think there's something about a red BMW, especially the classic ones with all the chrome. It's just gorgeous. I mean, the lines are so clean and simple on this. The wraparound rear window. Check out that interior. It's hard to see on camera, but yeah, I just... This thing's gorgeous, it really is. Now this BMW Bavaria here, very interesting color. It's a, um, it's green, but it's kind of that green blue hybrid, which I think really looks nice. But also check out the interior on this. Love the classic two big gauges and then a tan interior. It's a beautiful combination. Another one of my favorites, 2002 Turbo, white with the classic M stripes. Clean, simple spec, can never go wrong with this. Check out that engine there, that is awesome. Now this is probably the most E30s I've ever seen all next to each other. If I were to count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 E30s. Pretty cool, one of my favorite BMWs ever. Very interesting spec on this Ferrari 488 Pista. It's a eggplant purple. But look at that, it's got a nice metallic flake to it. Personally, I like it a lot. What do you guys think of this? Ferrari 458 Speciale, one of my favorite Ferraris of all time. Now this Mercedes in the German police livery, I love. I mean, usually people with the specs on these, they like to keep them all original. But this one, the guy just fully committed, went for the modifications, and I think it looks awesome. I mean, check this thing out. Color scheme, kind of cream in the green. It works so well. Now this Porsche 911 is a very interesting color. It's a very bright blue. I mean, it's brighter than golf blue and that's a very bright color. But then again, it's kind of fun with the whale tail and the wide body.
Now this is awesome and a bunch of people have been coming to this, particularly because of the spec. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS 396. I mean the orange and white spec I love and this one is just in such pristine condition. It's amazing. This is a really cool car. Original Buick Racer. And I don't know if this is a replica or it's an actual real one, but nonetheless, love the bodywork of it. Check out this engine bay, fully exposed, love it. And then look at these seats, two seater in this. But yeah, I love these 30 style racers. So cool. Another car that's really caught my eye is this BMW from the 1930s. Now, I don't know exactly what model it is, and actually it says there, it's a 327 Cabriolet. But nonetheless, I think this spec is just amazing. The blue and the cream really works. 30s, obviously, huge wheel arches, and then also the big grill. Even though BMW is now a big grill, it's still narrow and it actually matches the design. But I just think these are so elegant. Now, looking at the interior, check out that gauge cluster and the seats and I love the interior on this. It's very simple, yet it's actually not. That's what I love about this design. It's just, there's so many textures and features and really love it. And the rear end just looks awesome. Spare tire in the rear, but it's got that nice cover and just the way everything swoops together at the rear, I absolutely love. One car I really love is this 280 SC. Now we're in the Mercedes section, of course, that's why it's here. But the point is, spec on it seems basic. It's silver with a tan interior. The more you look at this car, the more interesting it gets. The most obvious thing, obviously it's been lowered on the airbags, which I think actually looks really cool. No one's ever really done this with 280s. And then the next detail, these little chrome, I don't know what they're called, over the windows. Very interesting. Interior is gorgeous. It's hard to see on camera though, but then, Check this out. It's got curtains on the rear window like the Maybox had. So very cool and it's pristine as well. Absolutely love this car. Another one of my favorites in the Mercedes section is this C-Class wagon. And the reason behind it, as you'll see, even though I like the spec, check out this. It has a manual transmission. How many C-Class wagons have that? I'm assuming it's aftermarket. Still cool though. Now another one of my favorites has to be this Ferrari 250 Testarossa. Now the chassis of it was found in Italy somewhere and they redid the bodywork, redid the engine and brought it back to life. And what I love about it as well, they never painted it. You can see all the little imperfections in the paint and it's just so gorgeous to look at. Now Ferrari V12, nothing like it. Interior, bare to the bones on this, but I love that wood steering wheel. Gorgeous car. The main attraction of the show is the fact that the actual movie cars used in Ford vs Ferrari are here. First off, we've got a Shelby Cobra here. And um, this is the one you might remember the scene at Willow Springs where after playing Ken Miles throws the wrench, breaks the windshield. There's the windshield. Pretty cool. I'm actually an interesting spec on it as well with this matte white. And this I believe is a Porsche 908. Uh, but I love the color scheme. The green and white works so well. Now this is a Ferrari P3 I believe. Might be a P4. Forget which year they switched between the two. But this is a gorgeous car. I mean, these Ferrari Le Mans cars of the 60s and 70s, some of the best looking race cars of all time. Here, you can see the massive hood it has, or bonnet, whatever you want to call it. Now the engine on this, since it's a replica, they just put in an LS engine, but it still looks awesome. Now onto the GT40 replicas. 
This one is uh, interesting bronze color. Still really like it though. Another Ferrari P3 or P4. Again, I don't know which one it is. One thing I also like is the way they displayed it with the glo driving gloves here. And if you take a little peek inside, see the race suit and the helmet. But yeah, I just love this car, especially this Ferrari red, nothing like it. And here's the car portraying what Ken Miles drove at Le Mans, GT40 here, blue with the red stripes, love the spec. Interesting fact is actually, they tried to make it look like it had all the dirt on it from Le Mans, and it's hard to see in this light. But what's interesting is that's actually a wrap. The car's not dirty at all, so kind of interesting. Even if we were to clean the car, it still looks dirty. Another one of my favorites is right here, Mark IV GT40. This was the GT40 that was very long, so they could achieve a better top speed at Le Mans. And this spec, red with the white stripes, nothing like it. I love it. So I thought I'd end the show with the feature cars that are behind me, of course. The cars from Ford versus Ferrari. Happy to see car shows back, and don't worry, there'll be plenty more car show content coming soon as more and more shows get back to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.